Hey everybody, that's another video. Like I said, I'm doing today, still Saturday, and I'm doing tomorrow some some uh, videos because I got time to. Um, handguns. Handguns are uh, a favorite of mine, but I'm very particular about handguns. Um, my favorite gun, if you go back and look, in one of my videos, ain't no school like old school. It's just, it is what it is. It's 1911. I can't think of a handgun more better designed uh, than a 1911. That's just my opinion. And <clears throat> I've gone through other things telling about how, you know, that gun is being replaced by all these other weapons. And that's just the way it is. Now, if you're someone like me and you're into uh, 1911s, but you don't want that 1911 problem because there are issues with, with the handgun. I mean, you can't lie about it. And you're not into a, a Glock or a strike fire handgun uh, because there are positives to having a non-strike fired handgun. I'll get to that in a minute. So there's, there's getting to be where there's very few companies today that are making uh, double action only or double action single action uh, handguns that are not one getting to be where they're really high priced or um, <clears throat> you know 1911 etc uh, I still consider the BHP the the evolution of the 1911 I think it is a better designed handgun than the 1911 but I pick the BHP over 1911 no I wouldn't because that's that's just me, I like a single stack 9mm or a single stack 45. Um, not really big into double stack, and I guess it's because of my hand size, the way it fits, etc. But <clears throat> you can get a modern design, good quality, very good trigger right out of the box. Not having to do any work to it unless you want to. Um, by an old school, very well known company that's getting to be more and more known today. It's not really been a diamond in the rough for many years. A lot of gun guys like myself have known it and are very happy that it's still a uh, unknown company. I mean, even to this day, uh, I go into my local gun shop and the, and the guys there still say that when people ask what gun is this and they say, well, is this company? And they go, who's that? Never heard of it. And then they just brush it on by because they don't know anything about it. Well, they've come out with a new weapon. It's not that new. It's based off of an old design, which is a... It's a type of a, a BHP 1911 family. And uh, when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, that's me. I got to do it. I got to get them. I got to get it. And I, I've not regretted it ever since. Um, so, the gun that I'm talking about is the CZ 75 Omega. It's 9mm. When you buy it, it comes with two double stack magazines. I believe these are Metgars. It is a double action, single action, can be made into a single action only or double action. This model here has their CZ sights and these are high sights. Um, it is a threaded barrel uh, if you're one of those folks that are buying a, a can to put on a gun. Um, the grip profile has this sweeping arch in the back and a high tang. Really comfortable. Very comfortable. Um, as you see here, it has serrations on the top. Um, I like that. It's supposed to cut down on glare. The slide rides inside the frame. It's a very good uh, design. It's, it's old school. Um, there's 
a lot of aftermarket parts out there. There's already companies, or there's been companies that have been doing custom uh, work. Uh, magazine release is a common magazine release. It has a external ejector. Um, it's uh, just a fantastic. Oh, by the way, it had, does it has a capable to mount a, a uh, light laser, your toaster, whatever you want to do. There's aftermarket grips that you can put on here. These are the ones that came with the purchase. Uh, it's going to stay that way for me for, for right now. I, I can't think of. I, if I was to do any other grips, it'd have to be like a cosmetic grip, something, something pretty, something that's you know going to stick out. Um, the CZ75, this is the PO1 Omega. It is uh, on par with like a Glock 19 as far as like slide length, which I think is the optimal length or barrel length for a handgun. Uh, no matter what it is, unless it's a 1911, I'm a big five. I'm a big uh, government model fan. Uh, I would never go below uh, commander's model. I don't like the officers or the defenders model for 1911s. Um, slide release or slide stop, whatever you want to call it. Very nice. It has a. Uh, it's it's very. Uh, um, it, that tang right there, you can really grab that tang and impress it and bring the slide back and batter. I have not shot this one a lot. I'm going to do an update video on it. I'm going to take it out to the range. It does have a type of serrations here in the front and it has a type of and it has serrations right here at the handguard. Now some people will shoot this way. I don't. I don't care. I think it, my my philosophy is if you're hitting the if you're hitting your target accurately with consistency, then your consistency should be accurate. And if you start following other people and the way they do it, you may not be shooting as accurate with consistency as you once were. So find what works for you. That's what the biggest biggest uh, thing is. Um, has a as you see here, the, where the trigger, where the frame is, where the trigger guard, see how you notice how it's kind of beveled out. I think that's made for gloves. Uh, I also think it's, I like it. it. I think it's made for gloves. Like so, if you got thick gloves, you can get in there. That opens it up a little bit. As you can see, there's a little bit of there's play up until you hit the wall here on single action. It, there is no play. It's ready to go. This is a very nice, very nice pistol. And for the money, you really can't, you can't uh, go wrong with it. So let's say you were you wanted a gun, but you don't want to pay the thousands of dollars to custom a gun. You could get something like this, well under the, the well under the the thousand dollar mark. Save up your money, and. Uh, if you want to put a red dot armor cut, which I plan on doing this one day to this one, or if you want to, uh, Cajun Gunworks, excellent company to work for. I have not used any of them, but any of their parts or, or sent a gun off of them. However, the guys at the gun shop have, and I've had an opportunity to see their work, and it is really good work. Um, they can do, they can do a trigger job, hammer, spring. You know, uh, they can do a cut. Um, so the only thing I plan on doing with this is uh, what I'd like to do, and I'm gonna, you know, this is later on down the road. This is a project gun um, for the time when the time comes. I'm gonna have the sights removed, and I will have low profile, just standard profile, not low profile, but standard sights. I want to put an R mark cut on here and put an RMR. I can't think of another red dot that I'd want to put with this gun. Um, balance is perfect. I mean, this 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 gun really balances well. 
Uh, there are companies out there that are making holsters. So if you're like a uh, little on the bench about it uh, because of the holsters, there's a lot of companies out there to making holsters. I personally only buy so far land um, for an outside carry. And this is what I would use that for. Um, so look on Safari Land and look up their different lines of holsters and you should find the one that, that you should find that and if you can't call them up Safari Land number one in my opinion they'll, they'll definitely help you um, so CZ75 P1 Omega it's definitely a gun to look at if you're you're wanting to step out of the, the Starkfire world. CG75 Omega. Uh, this is the, uh, excuse me, the 75 P1 Omega. Back directly on.